Jimmy here at O'Reilly, it's Mobile Mechanics, and we have something different for you today. Electric quad bike. And this is a 36 volt mini quad from Fun Bikes website there. So the problem with this is it states there the battery is fully charged. And what's happening is you take it off the charge and it will power at full speed, but only for about five seconds and then it just basically does about one or two miles an hour then for about five seconds it'll give you the full speed of probably about 15 or 20 miles an hour or whatever it does and it immediately dies off so i think there's a problem with the battery so i'm going to come over to the side here unplug it so we've got the battery kit out here on the ground we're just taking the screws out you've got four little screws all the way around there one two three and four so inside we've got three little 12 volt batteries here just going to get this glue off so i recently had a similar problem with this bike and it had a little uh, plug clip like this right here and that plug clip had uh, had melted so i replaced it with one of these which is a nice tighter fit and um, the thing is if on a live connection or anything like that if you've got a loose connection it, it generates heat and then it'll melt so if you've got a nice tight fitting it doesn't sort of heat up so much so we're going to look at having a look at these batteries and i think it's we're just going to replace them um i can see here i don't know if you can see that but you got um that sort of green oxidation or whatever you call it it's all over the top of the battery there so you can see where they were must have been leaking so i'll connect up a multimeter anyway just to see how many volts we're getting so that's across the two there so that generates the 36 volts we're saying we've got 38.2 now just across battery one we have a 12 point 12 volts 11 point is fluctuating a little bit there then on battery two we actually have 13 volts so we know that battery is probably the one that's killing it and then we'll try battery three 13 volts as well so this one was like 11.9 to 12 volts and it was jumping around a lot so i'd say that's the battery that's causing the problem there but these are quite cheap so i'm just going to replace all three of them at once um this actual battery kit here is 155 quid i think to get it from them uh i can't remember if there was postage to be added on that as well but i had a look online and i got three brand new batteries in a kit uh for 60 pound and the bonus for that is they're not chinese batteries they're good quality as well so i'm gonna unscrew these connectors so i've got these here delivered i've got three uh lucas batteries let's have a look hopefully these are a little bit better quality now i can already see unfortunately i looked online everywhere can't seem to get the same fittings that's on the batteries that are there so we're gonna have to change the fitting to these spade clips i don't really like spade clip fittings really because again like i said they do generate heat sometimes but we'll get them fitted on and i think what i'll do as well is just put an inline fuse in here so i'll strip this down and get it ready so i'll use a pair of these little wire strippers here just to strip these off Now I can get one of these spade clips on over there and we'll get that locked in. We'll use our, again our little pliers here to crimp that down. Sorry, I've got it in line with the camera. So we'll just crimp that. So that's a nice tight fit there. Now that can fit onto the new battery just like so there. So I've just pulled the old battery out there. You can see there where the uh, battery had been leaking. Uh, you can see the signs of it there on the side of it. So we get these three new batteries all slotted into the case there. One, two, three. So now again here, just making new cables because we need different fittings and everything. Get some new, new uh, 
new new uh, cables, but the new uh, fitments only in there, spade clip fittings. So I've got these two batteries now wired up, black to positive, so negative to positive, and then we've got from this one negative to this positive, so that leaves us two remaining there, which will make make this up to thirty six volts. Your negative and your positive on this side. So now I've just connected up these last two cables that are on the lid of the unit here and I've just trimmed a little two pieces out of the side there so I can leave this fuse outside of the unit in case I ever do need to change it okay so that's all of the screws back in on the case in there and I've left that little fuse holder just poking out the side there so it's easy to change the fuse if need be so now I'll just slide this new unit back in that's it we have power restored she's all back together and she's ready to kick So that's it really, just a little, thought I'd put that up there just if anyone wants to find a cheaper way of replacing the batteries here on these things. Um, well, it's about less than half the price, so you got £65 for three Lucas batteries instead of paying 154 you know, three cheaper Chinese batteries. All you got to do is just switch them around, but a uh, few minimal tools there needed, little wire strippers and crimpers set. Um, you can get them from anywhere really, and... That's it, she's ready to go and hopefully these batteries will last a fair bit longer. So we'll see you next video.